Hello, this is an update for Comet Ison C2012S1. As a sophomore at the university, I had a grant from NASA to look at um, satellite data in the high energy spectrum for X-rays. And then I went to Silicon Valley. Here we have some NASA footage of Comet Ison from January of 2013. And um, from this image, the trajectory of Comet Ison was worked out and where it would come into two solar distances, two solar radi radii distances from the sun. NASA put in a proposal to observe Comet Ison with the Spitzer telescope. And um, the Comet Ison did not do what was expected of it. It was an unexpected result. Um, right now, Comet Ison is behind the sun and is away from our vision. Um, what's happening now is the um, back of the sun that's facing Comet Ison is experiencing a solar flare of great magnitude. This is the sun from uh, June 29th, 2013, facing the back of the sun. We're going to go up into a um, some satellite observations now um, and observe some evidence that the ancients uh, watched the sun as well. Uh, here we have the Giza Plateau and we're going to go to 30 degrees longitude, 30 degrees latitude and what you can see from space is the pyramids and they worship the sun god Ra and um, so we've been watching comets for a while. Uh, this is a comet Lovejoy going towards the sun and coming out. Um, it's going near the sun and parabolically coming back. This is another object. I don't even believe this object was even named. It was just caught at the last moment while apparently causing a solar flare. This is the Aztec calendar um, suggesting that the ancients were uh, in South America were also watching the sun. Comet Ison is going to have a near miss with Mars. Um, if it hits Mars, it could cause um, lakes on Mars, possibly freezing, changing the surface of Mars. Uh, if it comes by Mars in a close pass, it could salt Mars with um, enough ice and debris to cause a change in the uh, biosphere of Mars. So what we have is um, a trajectory worked out of this comet Ison. Um, it's going to graze all four planets of the inner solar system starting with Mars. I think that um, I zoomed in as close as I could to all the animations and it looks like Mars is going to have the closest encounter. Um, at first some of the news reports were saying that the comet has a chance of hitting Mars. Um, with the amount of uh, outgassing of this comet it's possible that it could bring tons of water to Mars. Another concern is that um, it could change the trajectory. The closest it, it if I mean, it, it could hit an asteroid in the asteroid belt, or get near something and change the trajectory. The gravity of Mars, or some of the moons of Mars, we don't know where the moons of Mars are going to be at this event. I bet there are some scientists that are probably trying to work on that right now. Um, it's going to be difficult to... Uh, it's already surprising people. And it hasn't crossed the asteroid belt from Jupiter to Mars yet. I think all bets are off. Um, we have some ancient predictions in the Mayan temples of this time 
frame. I've looked back, went back and looked at some of the uh, 2012, December 21st, 2012 calculations. And if you start your 2012 calculation excluding zero, then your December 21st, 2012 arrives at um, the end of, of, the, of 2013, which is this year, it's happening now. All this is happening now. Uh, the trajectory of this thing is happening now. These um, proposals are being circulated now to observe this comet. Um, the research is ongoing, it's happening, and uh, we don't know what it's going to do. No one knows what it's going to do. And that's the latest update, Comet Eyes on.